Before we start, I want to remind everyone that neither CoolStuffInc.com nor myself endorses eating any sort of dishwasher detergent product. That being said, what's up, my friends? Welcome to another Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. We got quite a cool one here for you today. This is a modern deck, um, mostly from Doomwake. Doomwake's a great content creator, uh, Devin O'Donnell. Check him out on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube and stuff. Um, that builds a lot of really cool decks, a lot of magic online grinding. And uh, I've changed a few cards here and there, but for the most part, this is a kind of a Neo Jund deck. Now, Jund, Jund proper, you know, Tarmogoyfs and Thoughtseize, it hasn't seen a ton of play in Modern lately. Things have gotten a little too powerful for it. Well, we've got a new uh, a new power, powerful thing to do here in Jund and Modern, in Valky Lord of Lies. Now, face value, of course, Valky Lord of Lies, 2 mana, 2 1, comes into play. Can exile opponent's creature. Uh, very good against Euro, because you can just activate it on turn three, make it into a Euro and attack with it, which is awesome. Uh, but we're more interested in Tybalt Cosmic Imposter here. A seven mana Planeswalker that essentially draws cards, kills things. Just a really, really powerful card. And obviously, it's seven mana worth of Planeswalker, right? Well, we don't want to pay seven mana, actually. There's a weird quirk in the rules that if you cascade into a, a Valky, which only costs two mana, you are for some reason allowed to play Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter, instead. So that means that you can Cascade into a 7-mana Planeswalker, which is pretty awesome. So we have our Cascade cards, usually more often seen in Living End or things like that. Uh, Bowing Outburst here. The effect isn't really relevant. Uh, mostly just 3-mana th Cascade, Instant Speed, or Demonic Dread, 3-mana Cascade at Sorcery Speed. And both of these cards are essentially 3-mana copies of Tybalt. Cosmic Imposter, with Violent Outburst being instant speed, so you can do it at the end of your opponent's turn, which is pretty awesome as well, against counter spells and the like. Now, of course, this means we can't play anything else in our deck that costs less than three. Because obviously, with any card, if you have any Lightning Bolts in our deck or our Tarmogoyfs, then we possibly Cascade into them. Right now, we are set to Cascade, where every single Cascade in our entire deck will hit a Tybalt, which is awesome. So... We gotta skirt our way around that a little bit. Obviously, we can't do nothing on turn one and two. We can cast Valky, of course, which is fine. We also have four Simeon Spirit Guide and four Gemstone Caverns. Let's try and uh, cast our Cascades earlier. We also have a few cards that kind of skirt the rules on Cascade with Bone Crusher Giant, which is a two mana removal spell, and Dismember, which can possibly be a one mana removal spell. Um, so we have some play in the early game. And if we're already playing Spirit Guide, we're already playing Gemstone Caverns. It makes a lot of sense to play the Blood Moon effects in Blood Moon and Magus of the Moon, um, which can lock out a lot of decks early, which is great. And then, of course, you see Pyromancer is just really, really good. Just excellent card. And very, very good in the matchups where you don't want Blood Moon or you don't want Bone Crusher Giant to uh, turn those into more relevant spells. So, 24 lands. I get some basics here uh, for, of course, our Blood Moons. We split it up here, so when we steal our opponent's Field of a Dead, we can make some zombies, which is pretty great. And uh, kind of just a straightforward, kind of reactive, but kind of proactive deck. Um, I'm excited to see how this works, honestly. So, I've where it's got Land of the Void and Mind Break Trap. Two really good uh, cheap interactions, and they both cost zero, but don't screw up our Cascades. Uh, a Shriek Maw, another cool card. I think we, we can play for two, but um, doesn't screw up our Cascades. Uh, on the play, we can cut out, cut a few Gemstone Mines for Blast Zones, which is kind of cool. And I've uh, got a couple Angers here and the last Blood Moon effect. So that's the deck. I'm pumped. You should be too. But first, we'd word from our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right. Here we go. Match number one. We are on the draw, but we have Genso Cabins, so we're actually, we're actually on the play. And we also have a Simeon Spirit. We might turn one Magus of the Moon here if we really want it. It would screw up our uh, our colors a little bit, but uh, we're going to keep, and we'll see what they're doing. Uh, we're going to put our Gemstone Caverns in. Now, the tough part here is we don't know what we're playing against, so Dismember, Bone Rusher Giant. I think Bone Rusher will cover most things, though. Let me get Chip a Dismember here. Um, actually, I'm sorry. We can get a Forest for, uh, for Magus of the Moon, of course. Uh, Wooded Foothills, sure. And just saying go. So, what's Wooded Foothills go? Huh. Probably Magus the Moon's not going to be great against them. I guess you might as well just crank it, right? There's no reason not to play Magus the Moon here. Um, if they bolt it or whatever, it's fine. If they don't, and maybe they're playing Amulet, it's really good. Let's go get a, uh, we'll get a Snow-Covered Forest in honor of Kaldheim. 
and exile spirit guide and play turn one magus the moon we prefer have a cat to have a cascade spell here of course but they can't get a forest which is fine you know but and a black cleave cliffs okay and saying go sure bloodbird elf is a pretty good draw uh, all right, let's just jam. And Forest Black Cleave Cliffs. It's kind of interesting. And if you just cast Bone Garcher Giant, I don't think that um we really need to try and stomp anything. So we have a Blood Braid. We have a, we have a, a Hasted Blood Braid next turn, so we're, we're beating down pretty good. Not really sure what they're up to over there, honestly. Turn Timber? Okay. Spirit Guide? Okay. Blood Braid Elf? Okay. Cascade into... All right, well, we found the mirror, folks. Um, sure. Oh, the cat... oh, never mind. This is a Tibble Trickery deck. Okay. Uh, if you don't haven't seen this card yet, uh, really, really stupid this card exists. Just an absolutely heinous design that this can target your own spells. So uh, you Cascade and you... Um, you, uh, you target your own spell. So a similar idea. And then the trickery will will mill three cards and then uh, keep exiling cards for a different name. And oops, I didn't know Razib, so pretty cool. Uh, you probably can't win anymore. Um, no, I'm sorry. They had a turn timber symbiosis. The Eldrazi is a shuffle trigger um, because it got bin it got binned on the mill from Tibble's trickery. So they had a turn timber, which is not nearly as bad as um, hitting an actual Eldrazi. So no cast trigger. Um, and hopefully there is no humongous monster in the top seven cards of their deck. Oh, there is. And uh, now we are going to lose. So, uh, yeah. Table of Trickery, uh, one of the more egregious cards printed in a really long time. We have no way to beat uh, an Ulamog. So, well, I guess the Table can... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lying. Table Exiles. So, let's just block here. Block there at 17. Maybe not, actually. Let me just take it. I guess we want we want to defend our Tibble. Uh, yeah, I should just block. All right, so all right, so we untap, and this means we need to cascade into a Tibble. Uh, we can't afford to hit anything that's not a cascade card or Tibble, or we lose. So uh, let's spin the wheel here. Survey says Blood Moon, not good enough, and now we're going to get annihilated for four and lose the game. So yeah, Tibble trickery is like. I mean, they're going to ban it. I, I, I would, I would assume. Even if it's not like the best deck, it's just like a heinous, heinous design, and it just should not exist in, uh, you know, the deck can turn two pretty easily, and just cast Ember Cool. They're, these are more like robust versions of it that don't don't try and turn two, but are more uh, are more durable. So bring our traps, and I mean our Blood Moon effects. I guess are somewhat useful on the play. Dismember seems bad. Bone Rush seems bad. Pretty easy cuts. Um, yeah, pretty easy. And now we're on the play. So you want Blast Zone over Gemstone Caverns because it's just strictly better to not have a legendary land that doesn't do anything. So not, a, not the funnest game there of all time. You know, that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, the the by cascading in, in standard and other formats, you would play a, a zero amount of artifacts. Say you have four formats script in your deck. You would try and get the crypt and the trickery and cast crypt, trickery it, and then hit something big. But with cascade in the format, you can just play any cascade card. You hit the trickery, and the cascade card card is still in the stack. So you get to um you get to always have it's a one card combo. So it's just like we're turning our cascades into a uh, uh, a Tybalt. They're turning their cascades into a possible Ember Cool. But also they could miss and just hit like, you know. Another trickery or something like that. I guess they can't only have one trickery. I don't really know exactly, but all right, we're gonna keep. We have a uh, mind break trap here. Not a great hand. We have the blood moons, but not no acceleration. But this is fine. Just play black leaf cliffs and say go. Uh, don't want to fetch a basic and show them we have blood moon. Can hope our mind break trap is good enough here. Of course, they need to play a cascade spell, but then the trickery. And then actually cast the win condition, so trap will always hit that. And like us, they can't play cards that cost less than a certain amount. All right, we drew a, uh, we drew a, um, a spirit guide. That's kind of nice. So 
Let's get a forest, I suppose. We're not going to have black mana, but that's fine. And play... I'm going to play actual Blood Moon. Given that they could have, like, Stomp or something. So... This will hopefully mean they can't cast their spells. Um, they need a green or a black for trickery or dre or a dread for dread or um, outburst, just like we do. We have a forest in play. We drew a land. Awesome. We're gonna play pyromancer and probably pit discard the magus and the pyromancer. Now they have many mono red ways to deal with our blood moon. So put four power in play. Pretty awesome. And we have a bloodbird elf. Pretty awesome. And we have a trap. Pretty awesome. So much better this game. Real polarizing games with the uh, trickery decks where you either, either you got it or you don't. Cycle Yadara. All right. Well, I know I was saying I didn't like trickery decks. Now I do like trickery decks. Um, Yadara is the, the coolest card ever. I love that card. All right. So untap. Sure. And uh, just play the old Bloodbraid off and see what we hit. Cascade says Season Pyromancer. I guess we're going to lose our track here. Maybe I shouldn't actually not done that. But we are putting a lot of power in play. And now we get to use Violent Outburst for the uh, intended purpose of, of pumping our creatures and killing them next turn. Right? We got... Uh, this is a plus 7 damage on the Outburst. So even now, we, 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 would, we would just beat a... Uh... Actually, we'd beat... Maybe we'd beat an Ulamog. We wouldn't beat an Emrakul. All right, cool. So didn't even need the Mindbreak Trap. Um, but now we're on the draw. So Caverns come back in. And uh, Blast Zones are out. I guess Streak Ball could actually kill. Uh, it kills Emrakul. Problem is, like, they get the Cash Trigger on Emrakul. Can't kill the uh, other Eldrazi. You can kill, can't kill Grizzle Brand. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. If they resolve a Trickery and resolve a Boom Boom, we're probably going to lose. So we're going to be mulliganing pretty hard for a Mind Break Trap here. And thanks to the London Mulligan, hopefully we'll find it. Opponent deciding if they want to play first or not. Like, I mean, I guess with Gemstone Caverns, it's like maybe that's kind of a thought, but all right. So we have Valky, God of Lies, and Spirit Guide, and Blood Moon. Um, the good news is we have a turn two Blood Moon. Is that good enough? I think it is. I think it probably is. Who would require their. I guess I could like still fetch. I don't know. I mean, it's not. One of Mulligan's is six. You can just fetch a basic. Fetch, fetch, fetch a basic forest. And then we uh we're kind of just, yeah, I'm gonna mulligan actually. We should just mulligan to a to, to a trap. They mulligan to six. Alright, cool. Easy keep. Easy keep, easy game. Keep this. Ship a black leaf glyphs. We got a turn three Bloodbrain Elf. Bloodbrain is a little weird this deck because it, it's not a guaranteed cascade and a tibble, but it's still just like a good card. So it's a little weird, but all right, black leaf lifts go, sure. Season pyromancer, okay. I mean, yeah, we're definitely want to turn three. We want to turn three blood braid over turn two pyromancer. So play foothills. There you go. They have Instep Spirit. Oh, nope, Yadaro. Sure. Yadaro Wandering Monster. Love it. So Yadaro is a, an 8-8 eight, eight, eight Trample Haste. If you cycle it four times, it comes into play for free. Which is cool. A violent Outburst. Sure. So they Cascade. They hit... Ooh. That's not... That's not what we were expecting. Okay, so uh, apparently they sideboard into our deck, thereby nullifying Mindbreak Trap. Uh, because they have not cast any more spells this turn, I cannot cast Mindbreak Trap, and now we are dead. Uh, alrighty then. Good old Call Dime. Good old Call Dime. Alright, I guess. Uh, sure. Exile top card of each player's library. They exiled a Demonic Dread and a Gemstone Caverns. Sure. Um, kind of past the point of Blood Moon mattering. So, I mean, we can like Blood Braid Elf and attack the uh, attack the Tibble, but they can just play another Cascade next turn. 
Magus of the Moon? Sure. So I got a, a stopping ground because I figured that we wanted to uh, have double red for Pyromancer, but now we don't have green, which is awkward, but... Fine, they can just like kill Bloodburn Elf and then cast it for a Cascade, which is pretty sick. Would not be surprised if they eventually change this rule. Um, being able to Cascade it into Tybalt seems kind of silly, honestly. And then um, they probably should just ban Trickery, just like, just a really poor design that the card does not, uh, walking again, sure, that the card does not, the card should only be allowed to be able to target your opponent's stuff, just like really, really obvious design. So, you know, the old R&D here in 2021. All right, now they're going to Demonic Dread here. Okay, we now they can just kill this or plus Tybalt, and we are pretty screwed. Obviously, seven mana worth of Planeswalker is pretty good. Semi Spirit Guide, Magus the Moon. All right. They have a land too. Yeah, so might have gotten bitten there for uh, fetching Stomping Ground over Forest. I'm not really sure. Magus the Moon, sure. So play Pyromancer. I guess we're discarding this Mind Break Trap. It's probably worthless. So discard this, and I guess this. <laughs> oh, we do the Forest. That's pretty good, actually. So now we can actually cast Bloodburn Elf. Um, all right, attack Tibble. I mean, like, Tibble, like, might not be good enough. If you go wide enough, we can just, like, attack it and kill it. We also just have our own Tibbles, too, so... It's on five currently. And they have, a. Uh, I wish they would show what cards are exiled from it. Emrakul, and so they can cast my... They can cast my Season Power Master, which is pretty good. But... They're gonna cast my Blood Braid Elf, sure. And the Demonic Dread. Well, now I actually can't Mind Trap, so... That's kind of cool. So, Cascade. I'll take the entire stack, please. Tybalt's Trickery. Oh, so they didn't ward out the Trickery. It's interesting. interesting. But now we... we so actually, we, we might have made a mistake by discarding Trap. We got lucky into another one, so... One, two, three. I'll take all those. Thank you very much. And now we're just dead, I think. We're going to Cascade into something good, hopefully. And kill Tybalt. And they've got... I guess they still have... um. How can I see what cards are exiled by Tybalt? There's no way to like show that to us. No? Sure. All right, whatever. All right, well, uh, give me the old, uh, give me the old Bloodberry Elf, eh? Same in Spirit Guide, just what we're looking for. Perfect. It's okay though. Uh, attack Tybalt for three, four, five, six, seven. Them, them. We're probably wide enough. We're just gonna win, honestly. Like, I believe they have my, um, well, they have my gemstone caverns. I believe they have my uh, season power mancer, right? So that's pretty good. Put some stuff in play, but we have more stuff than that, and we have our own power mancer to flash back and stuff. And if it goes to the graveyard, we flash that back too. So. Discarding a Varaska. That's a really cool card. That's a card that could definitely be in our deck. Um, pretty cool way to kill hate, hate enchantments. It's also just a good value card. I like that one. When your deck building constraint is um, can't play things that cost you know less than three, you gotta find some cool cards like this. Pretty cool. And they're playing, 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 also playing my Magus of the Moon. So, all right. I mean, untap another land. I don't think that... Uh, I guess unlocking Magus the Moon isn't great because it uh, turns on their green for Bloodbraid Elf and Bowen Arch and this thing too. So let's attack with these. And we, we, we actively want the Power Mancers to die because that'll give us uh, that'll give us access to the ability to flash back for some tokens, which is great. And we want to do damage, which is obviously great. So... Sure. And these tokens dying is great for us because now the, these can get in too, probably. We'll see. All right, so take some damage, kill some stuff. Play Simeon, cast Simeon Spirit Guide the old-fashioned way. Should play a land out of our hand, I think. Make future Pyromancers better. We can maybe chain some Pyromancers. And uh, we're all in, you know. I guess I could just cast Tybalt the old-fashioned way. They only have one left, though, so it's unlikely they have that in their hand. They have the case copy of uh, 
of Tybalt. Hardcast Simeon Spirit Guide. Love it. This is good quality magic here. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Simeon Spirit Guide. All right. Magus of the Moon. So this is kind of cool because we can, like, attack and maybe they'll trade off and they can play a new Magus. We can, like, fetch some, some lands, too, actually. Um, I suppose it would, you know, thin our deck a little bit. I don't know how good that is, but... Um, do I want a second green? Sure, let's get a second green and some random tapped red land. And play another Magus the Moon and say go. And now they're at 14 and they're low on creatures. And, of course, we want the Pyromancer to die, so we're happy with that. Um, we can cast our spells. They can't necessarily cast spells super great. Oh god. <sighs> okay, so they have the case copy of Tybalt. Uh, unfortunately, three. That's, that's the last one. Um, they're gonna plus it and exile a tireless tracker and a demonic dread. Both insanely good hits for them. So now we are probably back to being screwed. Um, all right. I love it if we could do it like at least once. You know, we could just do our own. Our own Tybalt stuff once it'd be really cool. But it probably doesn't matter now. It's probably just too late because they have a they have a trigger coming up. Oh, it draws you lands. Great. All right. So pretty uh, unfortunate sequences here where um, they've got all four Tybalts. We couldn't find a single one or a Cascade card, and uh, they just have the Ember Cools and stuff too. So we're probably just super dead, um, which is pretty annoying. Everything attacking Tybalt like isn't even good. Um, they cast Demonic Dread anyway. So they're just playing an Eldrazi next turn, most likely. <sighs> sure. Block one of these. Takes three. I don't think we really have any uh, any recourse here. They also they, like, whiff really hard on the trickery. I guess they've already used a trickery, so maybe they have. What's over here? Maybe they only have one in their deck. I don't know how many trickers they have. Because you, you don't you don't want trickery into a trickery. So, Power Striker is really good though. That's a that's a pretty scary one. Up top cards, we have Foothills and Mindbreak Trap, uh, which does not really matter at all. And they believe they can't. I wonder if I can cast Trap for the. Uh, Zero to trap cost or not. Nope, they have uh, more than one trickery, sure. All right, so they're gonna trickery into a Yadaro Wandering Monster. So it could actually be worse. It's only a it's only an 8-8. And play Tower Striker. That's the real problem. Alright, can we just like draw a spell? Is that like a possibility here? You know, like a thing we could do? It'd be pretty cool. I'd appreciate that. Nope, just a land. Okay. Um, I don't think we're attacking our attacking table here with these season pyromancers. This game's been a roller coaster. All right, so now our pyromancers are dead. We can start flashing back tokens, which is kind of cool. They also have four cards in their hand. Hopefully, there's all green. They can't cast them. Um, I guess I can just kill Magus and whatever they want with Tybalt, but nope, top cards again, revealing a Turn Timber Symbiosis and a Demonic Dread again. So, unfortunately, they we have drawn zero 3-mana Cascade cards, and our opponent has stealing or stolen three of our our Cascade cards, um, which is kind of frustrating, you know, but it's okay, it's fine, I guess. Um, our opponent has cashed three more Cascade cards than us, and they've all been ours. <sighs> Maybe two. I don't even know. But all right, so uh, they have tracker and an eight eight and a Tybalt in play. Um, we would need to to do pretty good here, I think, to have a chance to win. Cast Emmercool, the Promised End. Yeah, that is uh, a thing you can do, I guess. So they get our next turn. Sure, we probably can't beat that. Attack for eight. Uh, yeah, I don't really see. Uh, I guess we could like drop Blood Burial off. All right. 
I mean, they're not going to play that. They can attack with the... They are going to play it. Okay. Well, I guess you can choose not to Cascade. Yeah, that's an option. Cascade in two. <laughs> of course. Well, our opponent's really, really good at hitting RK's Cascade cards, and we are not, unfortunately. That's the fourth Cascade card our opponent has hit, and we have hit zero of our own Cascade cards. And they're going to cast it. Sure. I guess they can, like, use the Tybalt to exile one of our own creatures or something, I guess. Hmm. Just not going to cast it. Okay. Sure. And uh, we'll lose Blood, Bloodbird Elf to the 13-13 and a token to the uh, tracker. Going to play our land for us. Very generous. All right. I mean... Uh, I'm not really sure if we have any outs here, but... Not going to attack with, attack with a 1-1 one, one, too. No? All right, sure. I think pretty clearly a 1-1 well, well, one here should attack the Tyler Striker. Get blocked by Tyler Striker, but sure. Probably not going to matter. They're going to fetch and fail to find. Very rude. Very rude. So, yeah, I mean, even if we cascade into, into Tybalt and hit their Emrakul, I don't, I don't think that's good enough. So, we draw Valky. Uh, all right, I mean, might as well try, right? I don't think it's going to matter, but. Now I can cast Emrakul, which currently costs nine, which is three, six, one short of what we have. Um, theirs is on eight. And they can, all right, they're just gonna ultimate their thing. Oh, we're just dead. All right, so pretty tough game there. Um, really felt like we were in great shape for a while. We just could not find a single Cascade card and they, they just took all our Cascade cards from us. So seems like probably not a great matchup given that they're, we're kind of doing similar things and they're just like doing it faster than us with this, with this stupid, um, the less reliable but more powerful um, Tybalt trickery. Kind of lame. Kind of lame. That's okay. Match two. We are on the draw. Did I say draw? I meant play with Gemstone Caverns. Cool. It's turn one Valky. We'll keep this. Do this. Um, I think I want Spirit Guide for turn turn two Bloodberry Elf. So let's ship a, uh, a Blood Grips. Misty Rainforest. Ooh, Valky God of Lies. Looking for some Euros. If you find a nice Euro to snack on, that would be tasty. All right, untap and draw Demonic Dread. Awesome. Valky God of Lies. The hidden mode of just casting it. The fair way. Playing magic as Richard Garfield intended. Sacrilegious, I know. Ugh. All right, so uh, some sort of, of pile deck. No Euro. And if I have Euro in the deck, we didn't hit one, obviously. Dry to the Elysian Grove. Mana Lake Remand to Fairy. Okay. So I have some counter spells here. So they can turn to counter. I mean, obviously, remanding or Mana Leaking a Blood Barrel isn't too bad for us. Probably what we want to do, honestly, just get in the board. And then we can set, try and set up, set up a Demonic Dread. Um, Triome, sure. So this is just some four-color Euro pile. Play Blast Zone, sure. Their mana's not great either. Um, so we're just going to jam Blood Break off here, I think. Let's get going. Get on the attack. Demonic Dread. Yeah, I mean, they could just... They could just uh, Mana Leak or Remand the actual spell we find with, with Demonic Dread. So I might as well put a put two threats in play. Bloodbird Elf, Cascade. Into Outburst, cool. Cascade. 
So we'll pump our Valky by one and hit Valky. So he has to hit Tybalt. So now I'm sure they're going to remand our mana like the Tybalt, but we still have the Bloodbird Elf coming in. So that's pretty great. I'd imagine they're going to mana leak it because remanding the Valky back to our hand. I just my, no, okay, so they might want, to, might want to remand to try and draw land, but sure, they're going to mana leak here, which is fine. So everything resolves. We attack for, uh, we attack for six, which is pretty good. Put them to 13. And uh, we just keep casting Valkies for the rest of the game. No Demonic Dreads, so. Their mana here is obviously not particularly great. Uh, a Triome and a Blast Zone with a Ghost Quarter in their hand. Couldn't find some Stronghold Mana Leaks? Come on. Have a little class. Have a little class. There's your Ghost Quarter. All right, so uh, I mean, we're gonna attack first. The Demonic Dread obviously only hits uh, Valky, so that's a pretty good draw, actually. Bloodbird Elf obviously very good. Bloodbird Elf isn't great as far as like gold fishing goes, but in a matchup like this where you need to just kind of grind out cards, uh, it's still very, very good. So hit it for five. Make them cast. Maybe we actually don't want to make them cast remand. They were kind of like mana screwed here a little bit. If we just say go. I'll just make this into this. Just a little more toughness. Yeah, I'll just say go. Typically against Remand, if your opponent seems a little mana screwed, you just kind of want to wait and not let them cast it. Um, even though getting, getting rid of the Remand is kind of nice. It's just like, they might not have a third land here. We knew about both these lands, and they're both very awkward lands to play early. So it's somewhat likely that they don't have a land. Uh, they have played a fetch land instead of Ghost Quarter. We know they have a third, a fourth land. Then we probably just cast it, but... And also they're at eight and dying, so it might be a spot where they just have to say go. Field of the Dead, sure. It's like their lands are super awkward. Probably... Eh, maybe, maybe not. I, I maybe should turn this into the thing immediately. Because they draw an untapped land, they could have blast someone and killed the Valky, but if they do that, we just win anyway, so... I think it's fine. So no longer Valky. Now, it's a Dryad of Elysian Grove. Cool. Uh, let me draw a land. Sure. We'll just cast, blood, cast the, the uh, Bloodbird Elf here. We'll get a... Oops. I guess we could just crack. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Um, let's crack and get a forest, but play, play the yeah, Bloodbird Elf. And guarantee another attacker. Cascade, so they'll have to counter something probably. And then uh, a Valky, sure. Tibskis. They're going to remand Tibskis. Let me attack for eight and kill them. Which is great. So, also they want to Ghost Quarter themselves to cast a Path to Exile. So, this is all fine. This is targeting Tybalt, just to make sure. It's like an F6. Nope, they tap Ghost Quarter. So, you are dead. So, we can see the resilience here, you know, Bloodbury Elf and just hard casting Valky. We don't need to resolve our Tybalt to go, which is why the, you know, if we were playing Trickery, we probably, we might have lost that game because they would have just had to counter the Trickery, counter the Trickery, and all we had is a 2-1, but, so that's pretty cool. Um, they seem to be a pile of deck. We're going to be able to play, let's bring these Blast Zones, cut these two Caverns, bring in the last Magus of the Moon. Um, definitely not a Dismember or Bone Crusher giant matchup, really. I think Bone Crusher's fine. Um, I don't really think we have much interest in Shriek Maw. It can kill a Euro. So maybe we want to bring in the Shriek Maws in case we end up in that scenario. Um, it's not sure exactly what they're playing. I mean, they just had like Field of the Dead, Ghost Squad, always Colos Lands, and a Salt Eye Triome, and it's a Fairy in their hand, and some counter spells. So. Okay. Um, outburst is pretty nice here, honestly. Definitely a little awkward having to fetch basics and then having Pyromancer also, but we can keep this. We can surprise them with a turn one outburst too, actually. They play, they play tap land here. All right, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a force negation, I guess. We're, we're going over to turn one. Good old Simeon Spirit Guide. Cascade. Tibskis. 
That, look at that devilish smile. All right, and then uh, exile top cards. Let's see what we get. Uh, a Valky and a Prime Time. Cool. Cool. Oh, well, you're up on it. Tybalt's uh, ultimate's pretty funny. So without reading the these passive text on Tybalt, looks pretty bad. It's minus eight to Tormod Script and Dark Ritual. But of course, the ability means we can cast all cards by exile Tybalt. So it's actually just draw all of your opponent's graveyard and your graveyard and add mana, which is pretty good. So Cavern of Souls. So this is some weird, some weird Titan deck, like Titan something control deck, just a, another Field of a Dead deck. Pretty, uh, pretty common at this point. So we're gonna pop the old Tibby up again and hit Breeding Pool and Wooded Foothills. I think I'm pretty cool playing a Wooded Foothills here and getting a, uh... I guess not, we could play it later. Play the Cliffs. Play the Cliffs, play Valky, take a little looky loo maybe find a Euro, that'd be cool. Sure. So not a problem, obviously. Don't think we're going to be ultimating Tipski anytime soon. Typically, I mean, we'll see. You know, obviously we can't really use all the cards yet and stuff, so. All right, two mana four, Celestial Purge. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, we can't prime time the lands out of their deck, which would be pretty cool. We could go get their Field of the Dead, but. Um, they're probably playing Teferi, which, which does turn off Cascade, which is pretty annoying, but. All right, so we're gonna play. Uh, oh, that's against Cascade card. Just play Foothills here. We'll just get a. Uh... Just get a. Um... I guess stomping ground. Sure. Pay some life, and we're just gonna go for the. Uh... Go for it again. Cascade. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll play a little Tipskis. Guess who's back? Back again. Tipski's back. He's my friend. We have four cards in hand. Now we have two more lands and prime time. Sure. Kind of funny we have double emblem with no art because it's just magic online. Why wouldn't you? Why not, you know? Why have art? Why have art on our cards on magic online? Field of the Dead. I would like to steal their Field of the Dead somehow. Alright, so on tap, Bloodbraid Elf. Ooh. Sure. Um, we're gonna plus this first to see what turns up. A Euro and a Pyromancer. So don't want to play Euro, but put it in their graveyard. It's not really good, so let's play Snuggle Forest here and just cast the old Bloodbraid Elf. Cascading into Valky isn't that bad. If we just cast the Valky instead of playing the Tibble. Remand, targeting Bloodbraid Elf. I'm not even gonna see what we cascade into. All right. So we can just cascade again. Magus the Moon, hello. We even stole their first. Even stole their first. Maybe they should have waited and see what we cascaded into, you know? Just saying. All right, so they, they, got, a, they got a path, which is fine. So Float of White, they're gonna path, um, which is fine. We say go. We get another land out of our deck. Go get. Swamp. We still have a, a quite the trove of cards to cast here. We still have Tybalt in play. Uh, so we're still feeling pretty good. They have four cards. They have four cards. We have a lot of Blood Moons in our deck, though. So, Teferi starts. So now we can't Cascade. There's Teferi Time Ravelers here. Um, we can't just attack the Teferi with our Blood Moon. We can also just cast a Primeval Titan. Which is kind of cool. And they're going to bounce nothing and draw a card. Uh, Tybalt can't deal with Tef uh, with Teferi. Draw land, sure. Uh, okay, so our Cascade is off because of how Teferi works as far as uh, timing restrictions. Um, exiling all cards in graveyards. Not really that useful. We're just going to plus... Probably gonna cast prime time, honestly. 
Growth Spiral and another land of some kind. Um, all right, let's play uh, Blood Crypt, I guess. Cast a Titan. They have their own Titan next turn. Things could get, could get, could get a little gross, but... Alright, so we're gonna go get Blast Zone and Black Cleave Cliffs. Don't really see a reason to get fetch lands. And uh just say go. They're gonna fetch a triome probably. If they have land prime time, they can make a lot of zombies, and we might actually be in a bit of trouble. I'm not sure how exactly we're going to win. Um, basic Island. Interesting. So while Tybalt is very, very good, I don't think it necessarily beats infinite tutus. Okay. Plus to fairy. Sure. Kind of funny to play one field of the dead for scenarios like this. Board, board one copy of field of the dead. Uh, all right, so untap. We're going to draw. Um, I think we're just plussing the old Tibskis. Path to exile and another land. Sure. All right. Um... I think we're gonna attack to ferry. We can we can also just play, play Bloodbird off as a three two, honestly. Just a three two that attacks. Obviously the cascade is null, but killing the uh to ferry so we can cascade again is kind of cool. I guess like we already have to able to play it. We need to cascade more, really. Um Let's just attack. I guess I want to get Blood Moon in play, so. The Cascade on Blood Rail is pretty, pretty valuable. Almost out of lands. Alright, so Teferi's dead. No, yes, maybe. They're going to cast Hour of Promise in my attack step. That is busted. Oh boy. Oh boy. So they can get another field and any other land here. And that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. They got a Valakit, sure. Hmm. Just about to die? Wow. That's weird. Alright. Um now I want to start just playing uh Pyromancers just looking for a Blood Moon. Um let's just start with that. Let's just start with uh red red colorless pyromancer. Don't think one ones really matter, so just pitch some lands, pitch the catacombs. Outburst is another copy of Valky. I don't really need that, honestly. I'm gonna ship that, make a token. Didn't draw Blood Moon, unfortunately. Um, and another Gemstone Caverns, awkward. So now we're gonna try cascading into Blood Moon. Yep. Okay, that's good. And they have a they can still they can still play to fairy and bounce it, which is pretty good. But and then we're going to play land, and we can cast root spiral anytime we want, right? Yeah, so we just say go.
Definitely want to get another Blood Moon in play ASAP. Red. No. <laughs> Attack step. Nothing. All right. And step growth spiral. It's pretty fun. Put a blood crypt in. And we could. Yeah, we, we, don't, want, we don't want to path anything because it gives them the basic lands. So untap. And draw. Demonic dread. Don't really have a need for uh, for another Valky here, so let's uh, let's start by just looking for a uh, looking for a um another blood, another blood, blood, another blood moon effect. Probably get a minus Tibble to kill a zombie, and then we can path a zombie. They're gonna remand the Pyromancer, sure. Pyromancer again. Discarding Catacombs and Cavern, two worthless cards. Magus the Moon, awesome. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven mana, sure. So we're going to uh, kill one of these. Gonna move to combat. Attack with you and you and you. Trigger prime time. Uh, we are kind of running out of lands here, but get a cliffs and actually got whatever um see if they block we'll path a zombie i think pathing a zombie is fine to keep our thing alive with two blood moons in play i'm not super worried about um getting on blood moon so table is pretty fun Stealing your opponent's cards is always fun. So you take seven. Cool. They got a forest, sure. And then we're gonna play Magus of the Moon. And we're gonna demonic dread for a Valky. Because why not, right? They need like a, an actual basic to wrath us, so cascade. Playing Valky God of Lies. Look at your hand. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Dryad, Dryad, Cryptic Command. That's actually pretty funny. So the, the Dryad does actually negate the uh the Magus in timestamp order, allowing them to cast Cryptic next turn. Which is actually a thing, um, but I don't think that's going to matter because they, they need to cast Cryptic defensively to not die. So, giving them the green did turn on Dryad for them, which is kind of interesting. But I don't think it matters. Yeah, so it's a, a mountain with the ability to tap for any color. Because it's also all land types, because of timestamp order here. If we were to play a Blood Moon after Dryad, I believe that uh, I believe a timestamp would override it. But so they have two cards in hand. One's a Cryptic. I don't think they can remove both of them. So sorry about tapping for green. Interesting. Green, green, red, red. Okay. They have a Titan. It drew a Titan. Wow. Uh, does that matter? I don't think so. We have Tybalt and we have Demonic Dread. There's Dead on board, right? We can kill a thing and may we can use the actual function of Demonic Dread to kill them. Yeah, I mean, you got another Balakid, but uh, you're just dead, so... So untap, minus this here. Play Bloodbird Elf because it's fun. Stomp you. 
demonic dread you kill you. Nothing like playing in the card the way it's supposed to be played, you know? Your creature can't block. That's the ability here. And uh, I will attack with all my creatures. And I'm going to get some lands too, just in case. Just in case. They're, they want they want to play it out to the bitter end here, so we're going to indulge ourselves. Wait, before damage. Make this into a, a, a dryad. Just saying. Just saying. Sweet. So that was a pretty cool, pretty cool game. Um, definitely a versatility of uh, of uh, old Tibski there, showing off kind of nice. Um, we definitely, would've, I think we would have lost that game one. Maybe not like for sure. If we, we knew what their hand was, so we could have like slowed down. But we probably would have given them time to play uh, to fairy and stuff um in that game one maybe maybe not i don't know we'll see and um yeah the old the old tibbers cosmic imposter tybalt of course being the joke of magic for so long it was the only two out of planeswalker forever and it was terrible uh now it's uh Skipsky's back it's taking up loki's mantle Of course, I want to remind everyone that there's a companion article to this video on CoolStuffInc.com proper. So if you're watching on YouTube, hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com, check out the article that goes along with this video, full deck list, my thoughts, and things like that. Um, and also on Cool Stuff, you can do some shopping. Tons of great stuff there. Tons of cool stuff, eh? No? Uh, board games, miniatures, card games, magic cards, sealed products, you name it, they've got it. CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, been in the business for almost 20 years. Best service there is. Promo code Jim 5 5% off your order. On coolstuffinc.com. All right, so on the play, we have a little Valky into Outburst. And this number two if you want it, so keep this. We got a one, two, three curve here in our uh, no cards that cost less than three deck. So we'll play, uh, let's play Foothills. I mean, play, playing to Blood Moon is definitely uh, a little interesting. I should have gotten a swamp. I get, I get, I get far swamp, I get a mountain later, so. Flood Strand, sure. Um, I guess I'll get a Stamping Ground. Let's get Swamp next turn. See me another Euro Pile. Pretty cool uh, that Valky's so good against these Euro Piles, too. Just like, oh yeah, take your Euro. Nope, Omnath. That's fun. So another four color garbage Euro pile, which is great. Um, take the Omnath, which is awesome. Um, so we get our Omnath. They can obviously path it and get it back, but whatever, it's fine. Um, they have no counter spell at present, so we're just gonna jam. Or Blood Moon. Um, Blood Moon is certainly, I guess they could, they could actually fetch, fetch, and then fetch again. They actually get three basics in place. I don't, I don't think it's worth playing Blood Moon. We're just going to get our our, uh, our Tibskis going. Oh, I'm so bad. I missed the point. <laughs> we just learned. We literally just learned about the cards having um having value beyond Cascade. So I missed the point there. Play table. Obviously, you could have seen that they would have path or not. Probably not, though. They draw a Counterspell? Wow. Maybe they're trying to grow Spiral here. The good news is that they... Alright, they're playing around Blood Moon, so sure. They might be casting Growth Spiral here, hopefully. Looking for Force Negation? Nope, they spiked the Mana Lake. Sick. Alrighty then. Pretty good. Alright, so... Uh, Strand Rainforest... Rainforest out of hand, they play another strand and say go. Untap and demonic dread. That works for me. Alright, so uh they can path it in response, it doesn't matter because the is this needs a target to be cast, it doesn't matter if uh it resolves or not, so 
Cascade again. Growth Spiral in response, sure. They need to spike the counter spell off of this Growth Spiral. Breeding Pool tapped. Love to see it. Force Negation. Uh-uh. And Valky can't block, just in case you're wondering. Uh, top cards. We're going to reveal a Blood Brain Elf and an Omnath. <laughs> That's a lot of value. All right, sweet. And then let's, uh, let's say go. They have four cards in hand, including Mystic Sanctuary and Path to Exile. Um, they can path the Valky and get back their Omnath. We have a Dismember for it, though. It's pretty sweet. So, And then we'd have extra mana for our Omnath. Triome, sure. I guess I want to keep this fetch line in play for Omnath. So, sure. Untap. Foothills, sure. Let's plus again. Ren six or season man. We got some we get some boomers here in the uh, in the exile pile. Alright, we're gonna um We can like play Omnath into Bloodbraid Elf, right? That's pretty sick. Uh alright, let's get a Forest, I guess. Try playing Omnath Locus of Creation. I guess I could path it in response to my fetch. Comes into play and draws a card. Oh, I should path it now. And gain four life, sure. I'm gonna attempt to fetch. They can they can path it in response if they want, but it's also fine. I should have got a basic, that was stupid. That was really dumb. Uh sure. So this is fine. Go get my last basic. Go get a blood crypt. I'm gonna leave it up actually, so we can uh dismember if they have their own on death. And uh, just get in, you know. Now they've used their path, so we can make this into Omnath next turn and fetch again. Lightning Bolt, my Valky. Okay, so that's fine. They can't cast Omnath, so I don't have any red. So, at least they're getting punished for playing much colors, right? They have Mystic Sanctuary, Forest Plains, Forest. Sure, all this is fine. Um... All right, Magus of the Moon, sure. So we're gonna... Mm, just gonna plus again. We have a lot of stuff to play here. We can play Ren 6, Bloodbird Elf, Magus of the Moon, Blood Moon. Playing Blood Moon is actually pretty valuable because we have all of our basics in play and it turns on Mystic Sanctuary and it still makes our things hard to cast. Like we never cast Cryptic and stuff. So probably, probably don't play our Blood Moon effects here. Just uh, look at our top cards first. Field of Ruin and another Pyromancer, sure. So let's play Field of Ruin. And let's play a Magus of the Moon. And just in case, let's play a Blood Moon also. Let's really stick it to him. Cool. And uh, I'll say go. We still have Dismember up. We still have Bloodbright Elf, Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Ren and Six, basically in our hand. They have Omnath, sure. They play that. Trigger up a stack and get to kill it. Dismember, Dismember being awesome here. It was a two for one, but, you know, still good. Field of the Dead, sure. Draw. I mean, now... I guess we can't uh, double trigger on Omnath anymore because of how... Uh... Actually, I get Growth Spiral. <laughs> I think we're going to ultimate here and make a bunch of mana, cast Omnath, and then play play land, get life, play Growth Spiral, play another land, get mana. Yeah, this is, pretty, this is a cool turn. Oh, That was going to be a really fun turn. <sighs> That's fine, I guess. All right. Um, That's my... Someone texted me to say, man, that turn would have been so much fun. It's my opponent. Sorry, couldn't let you play that one. All right, so uh, bring in a Magus. We're on the play. I'm sure on the draw. So bring in Magus and Shriek Maw to kill Euro and Omnath. Cut these Bone Crusher Giants. Don't seem to do too much.
got a toothache, that horrible feeling. Your tooth starts to hurt and you're like, oh God, I have a dentist. COVID-19 dentist visit. Oh my God. Been like trying to like avoid it for the last like week or two. It's starting to hurt more and more. Brush teeth, kids. Brush teeth. Not saying that I don't brush my teeth. I'm just saying that you should also make a good effort to brush your teeth well and do a really good job and don't skimp on it. Opponent, you got to finish sideboarding. I, I, I can't, I don't got material here. All right. I'm talking about, I'm telling people to brush your teeth. That's where we're at right now. So we are on the draw and we have gemstone caverns, both pluses. Of course, we have no third land and we would need to draw the third land immediately or our hand literally doesn't do anything. So this is a really weird one. Um, this is a really weird one. Put them all against the six. It's a pretty gassy hand, uh, truth be told. But... We have to draw a land in our... I guess our second draw step. I'm, 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 I'm making things up. I'm just getting screwed up with the gemstone caverns. I'm going to keep. And uh, we'll gemstone caverns away. Probably demonic dread. Triome, absolutely. I could, uh, let's see here. What else? Sure. We'll just say go. We'll do a bolt in their deck, so Magus the Moon's not as exciting as Blood Moon is, but basic planes must be nice. All right. Um, I guess our gemstones have for any color, right? Just get a, just get stomping ground. Doesn't matter. Play foothills, not black play foot, sure. So the good news is that we have, we have end step outburst into Magus the Moons. They have to counter the outburst, which is kind of cool. It's pretty transparent, but here it is. Not counter the outburst, counter the actual thing that gets, gets cascaded. All right, well, here's a, here's Tibble. Do you have a Celestial Purge or Counterspell? Mana League, sure. That's fine, uh, so no. I get to untap and resolve a Magus of the Moon. Uh, Vonky's pretty appealing, but just resolve Magus here. They'll they'll fetch a. Uh, I guess if they. Yeah, we still play Magus of the Moon. They're gonna kill it probably. So they gotta fetch a basic in response. Um, they're gonna they're gonna kill me. They get path it. They have bolt. It's like the worst case scenario. If they have path, it isn't that bad though. And then maybe draw a land next turn, we can double spell. If they path, we can double spell too. So kind of doubt they're playing Euro if they have it next turn. So I think that turning off Valky here isn't that bad. Mystic Sanctuary untapped, sure. Cool. Um, attack? All right, so... Worst case here is I play Blood Moon and they bolt my Magus and counter the Blood Moon. But that's kind of like basically everything. And Pyromancer isn't very good right now anyway, so just do it. Make him have it. They could have Path too, but Path actually wouldn't be that bad for us, so. Celestial Purge. That's the worst. That's, uh, I guess it's not necessarily better or worse than Bolt, but. They're going to let it resolve. Wow. And they're going to play Hour of Promise. Okay, so I mean, like, they obviously are going to get fancy lands. And no, just get all basics. All right. So now Blood Moon is very good. Sure, Catacombs, awkward. All right, so we're going to, uh, I suppose, Pyromancer. Probably discarding Pyromancer land, drawing Forest Magus of the Moon. Okay. I mean, still can't cast Cryptic. Euro. Okay, I can't play Euro either. From the graveyard, at least. Definitely kind of sneaky in the Valky. Would have liked to be able to do that, but sure. They only have one card left. I guess they, they still have Euro, but another Blood Moon. Sure. I mean... 
we're gonna get your own play and we do have some ways to kill it but not a ton gonna be interesting we draw two lands we could just play bulky too so oh they're one card short on euro and they don't have a spell god that's so good for us all right uh jam and uh we could flash back pyromancer i want to play on the blood moon though i want to really keep them under the lock if possible so they can't like you know i don't know find some way out Force negation, sure. They got nothing. They got nothing left, and now we can play our Tibble to be combined on Black Source. I guess that was the card for Euro, though. Ah, that's true. That's true. Maybe I should have uh, just made the Pyromancer. Yeah, actually, that, that was a mistake. Because any mana, like any spell, any counter spell there, it would have been totally dead. Now, just in terms, I think that was a mistake. I think I screwed up. Uh, hopefully, it won't matter. But Blood Crypt, tilt. Uh, all right. Plain land saying go. Now they have Euro active. We can, like, I guess just Pyromancer and block it. Everything. Now they've, done, now they've drawn a lot of cards, though. Yeah, we, we screwed up. We definitely screwed up. That was a mistake. It's all right. Get mega blown out here. Three cards in hand. Ugh. Aether Gust targeting Magus the Moon. Bottom. All right. Well, that's pretty devastating. Two cards in hand. Hey, look who's here. Nope, can't guess it. <laughs> Uh, all right well we're uh we're dead now gotten by our own blood moon yeah if we had waited a turn not let them uh put the euro and play a turn earlier maybe we like have a chance to swing this game but good old euro Sure. Well, they were at like 10. Now they're 24. Untap, draw black source? No. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty dead here. Cycle Trium, sure. Or we can like block Omnath and like, I don't even know. They put a land off, off Euro to its double land fall triggers. Doesn't actually matter, I guess. All right. Just a casual 31, no big deal. Fortunately, only drawing to two swamps here. They got the Renin 6 Triome engine going. Busted. Busted. All right, I think we're going to next game, folks. All right. All right. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Um, not sure if that a mistake would have cost us or not, but... Definitely was a mistake, nonetheless. Man is a little rough, for sure. Having to find the basic forest and the basic swamp can be a little difficult. Hmm. It's okay. On the play. Oh, wait, 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 wait. On the play. Whew, got it in time. On the play. So, obviously, swap out two gemstone caverns for two blast zones. Um, let's go. All right, I'm pretty happy with Valky, I think. We also have Bloodbraid Elf, too, and we have a, a Demonic Dread, so plenty of stuff to do here, which is kind of cool.
Go get a blued crypt. Oops, I just clicked. Sure, up spirit good. Oh boy, what do I do with spirit good? I think nothing. I'm not casting pyromancer, so I just play Valky. Okay, to their hand is Aether Gust, Explosives, Sanctuary, Teferi, Ren and Six. Awful. Awful. Aether Gust is really good against us, too. Man, Slash Up Arch and Aether Gust are really, really good. Alright, so no Euro that time. And now they have Ren and Six. We can Blood Braid Elf. Alright, I mean. Nope, we're just gonna say go. They played a Flood Strand that was not in their hand. So we know all seven cards in their hand. We're obviously scared of Teferi next turn. Which turns our first Cascade cards. Could just jam Demonic Dread here. They would just Aether Gust the Tybalt. But. And then, and then they play. Hmm. We also want to get out ahead of Teferi or Ren and Six. Might just be a Blood Burial turn, honestly. Yeah. All right, so we had Valky. Uh, we'll play table. We're going to probably Aether Gust it. Which is fine. Go to the bottom. Now we have two Planeswalkers in play to attack their... Two Planeswalkers. Two creatures in play to attack their Planeswalkers. Neither Planeswalker can currently survive if they get, but they get played, which is important because coming to Fairy is obviously really important. And then Ren 6 is annoying and something out of the world, but. And next turn we can Dread or Magus. Blood Burial Elf is nice. It is a little weird. The Cascades can be a little awkward at times, but just having a spell you can reliably cast in the counter spells is pretty awesome. Yeah, I definitely have to go to Dentist. My tooth hurts. I have a toothache. What's worse, getting a root canal or playing against Euro? Alright, they're gonna play Ren 6, sure. They're gonna kill my Volgi, also sure. So they played Forest, Ren 6. We get to kill Ren 6, we also get to put a Tibble to play, barring Force Negation. Um, could play Magus the Moon, but I think Tibble's better. Cascade, Tibskis, plus Mystery and Forest and Dismember. Uh, we're gonna play our tap land here. Right. Cool. Feeling pretty good here. Um, Tibski is not the easiest to remove. And then, yeah, this is pretty good for us. You're not, not bouncing Bloodbraid Elf, are you? You are bouncing Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. I'm sorry I said anything. Excuse me. Steam Vents, sure. Yeah, this is pretty good for us. There is Explosive Field Sanctuary card card. Blood Moon. All right, so we're going to play their land. Probably let's plus this first. Plus Stomping Ground, our Simeon Spirit Guide. We can't exile the Spirit Guide from a... Yeah, so not very useful. Um, I mean, we're probably just playing Blood Burial Elf and attacking Teferi. I guess I can't Cascade, though, but it's probably still worth it just to kill its Teferi. 
and put something in play. Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, resolving a Blood Moon here, I guess, isn't bad either. But... Huh. Actually, maybe that's just better. Just resolve Blood Moon and kill this next turn. Puts them off white and... I guess it's just white mana, but... I think it slows the game down with a, uh, a Tybalt in play. It's pretty big, and a lot of their answers to Tybalt are white also. I'll play Blood Moon proper, not Magus the Moon. We'll see, yeah. This force turns off Sanctuary and Field, too, so. Plus the Fairy, it's fine. If they were to have Land Hour of Promise again, that would be kind of gross. But. Play Field, sure. Suppose we did allow for Field to come in untapped, which is kind of cute, but. Alright, so untap. And. Catacombs. They're going to draw step Aether Gust my Tybalt. Um that's a little on the awkward side, but sure. That's fine. <sighs> the question here is are we playing Bloodbird Elf or not? We're just going to play Magus the Moon and Season Pyromancer. I can also see Season Pyromancer into the the uh, the Valky and cast it. It's possible they have something good in their hand. Which I don't hate that either. The Bloodbraid Killing Teferi is starting to look more appealing for sure. Which sucks if we can't play two spells this turn. Maybe we, maybe we, should, we should wait for Teferi actually. So we'll wait, we'll wait up. I remember we're going to go Magus the Moon and Pyromancer this turn. So I want to draw. I've already drawn, actually. Man, complicated. Sure. So Pyromancer discarding... Magus Catacombs, and we'll play, we'll play the Valky. Okay. Your hand is... Oh, crap. Uh, got a Euro, sweet. Their hand is... Ah, oh, crap, it's gone away. There's the Fairy Mystic Sanctuary ex Explosives. Uh, I cleared it by accident. Um... It's very Mystic Sanctuary and Explosives. Okay. I mean, they can Explosives on three, which isn't even that bad. I'm gonna play this. And say go. Obviously kills their own Teferi. Sure, so Explosives on three. And now we obviously don't want to, uh, don't want to activate our Valky, which is fine. Um, might actually want to though, because it forces them to to use the explosives. Then we just play Magus the Moon. Otherwise, they can just wait till the end step and guarantee that they can untap, which might be worse for us. So it's actually probably untap. We're probably gonna just pop the Valky. I guess that would give them back their their Euro. But does that matter? I don't think so. I don't want to get a game here. So we go to combat. They would just take the damage. There's no point in not. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna pop the bulky here and force their hand on the explosives. Move to combat. Force the force the issue on the explosives. Everything dies. Their hand is to fairy Euro something. And we cast Magus the Moon. Oh, it's attack. 
and then play Magus there then. It's a little less uh, vulnerable or durable than the actual Blood Moon is, but we can't do much about it, so. They'll play Explosives on three again. Mm -hmm. Now their hand is Teferi Euro. That's kind of gross. Catacombs. Huh. I mean, playing Bloodbraid all the here is so weird. They're not, they're not going to pop it before I... If I just attack, they'll definitely just uh, just let it ride because they're, they're getting life extra anyway. So I think I gotta play 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 the play the, the blood brain off again and pressure them. We have a dismember to kill the euro. They can't even cast euro with the. Let me see if they can. Um, they have two fields. This is kind of awkward, honestly. Right, obviously, this field is kind of bad, but. Cast Magus the Moon. Damn it. So we're really obviously hoping to hit a Cascade spell there and not one of our threes. I, I, should, play, I should put the land. That was stupid. If I, if I had a, hit a Pyromancer, that was really dumb. So kind of unfortunate. Um, we, were, we were really playing for a Cascade there to put a Valky in play. We did not get that. Um, yeah, they're playing it super safe here, which is very reasonable. Play lands. They go. They pop the explosives. They untap and play Teferi and Euro. And they have field going too. I think our opponents played played very well this game. We really were like really really ahead. All right. Uh, Shriek Maw. Great. It does kill Euro, I guess, but I think we are pretty dead now. Yeah, I mean, our ball play played really, really, really well this game. They had a lot of answers for us stuff, too. Double Aether Gust, double Explosive, Celestial Purge. Uh, we probably could play better. I'm not sure what we did wrong, but probably something. I don't see how we ever win this game anymore, unfortunately. Teferi turns off all of our Cascades. We can't beat a million zombies. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I would prefer they ban Euro sooner rather than later, you know, but. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Not really seeing a way out here. Even hard casting bulky probably isn't good enough against the, the horde of zombies, so <laughs> yeah, right on time. Uh sure. I mean maybe. Hard cast Shriek Maw. Kill Euro. Nope, has it all. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean our, our opponent played really, really well in that game. Like really, really well. Uh I mean maybe we could have like found a better way. Obviously it was unfortunate that we hit the uh the pre combat Magus of the Moon um instead of the instead of anything else. Cascade effect or something. Um so we were probably like a flip there to put put a Valky in play, which probably would have been pretty good. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, it seems like a good matchup. We have ability to just like put a Valky in play early. Our blood, 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 our blood, 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 play. Our blood braid elves are great. Um, obviously, our blood moons are great. But I don't know. Our opponent just had a lot of answers and just played really well. So, so one and two, not the best start. Um. Obviously, a trickery deck's not great for us. And I really feel like, feel like we, we could have won that last time if our opponent didn't play so well. Uh, 
gosh darn them playing so well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Match number four. Lurus of the Dream Den has been called. Um, we are on the draw, and our opponent is Mulligan to six. Um, I think we're fine here. We have a turn two play. We've got pretty good mana here. Pretty painless, too. You can go get a uh, stomping ground or whatever. Probably a prowess deck. We'll see. We'll see. No. Hedron crab. We get milled? Uh, is that good or bad for us? I don't even know, honestly. Um, I mean, we're probably going to be getting... Uh, I guess I'm going to crack this now, so we get one less chance to have an archive trap. They did mulligan, so... Get stomping ground. I mean, Valky is not going to be great. Tybalt. Oh my god. All right. Well, all right. No fetch line at least. And they're going to shock in too. So they have a one mana piece of interaction too. Okay. All right. I've got crabs. Balky. Okay. Uh, sure. I kind of doubt they have a creature in their hand, but they do. Snapcaster Mage. That's pretty good for us. Mesmira Gorb is not good for us. Um, I don't know how you remove that. I guess that's just a stab, stab doesn't matter, but. Mesmeric Orb. Okay. I mean, we get to Valky here. Or not Valky, whatever. Tibskis. So mill some cards, mill the Pyromancer, sure, it's adorable. Um, draw, Blood Moon. Interesting. Um, does it really help? Turns off double blue or black. It's not bad. Fetch lands too. Maybe just Blood Moon first, maybe? Like, Table does take a while to actually win the game. And, oh, I'm sorry, Tibble can exile the Mesmeric Orb. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. I thought it could kill something else for some reason. So actually, that's pretty good for us. So we can take a bop here, I think, and just play Blood Moon. And we'll attack and see what they do. Kind of probably a block, but. Crab army over here. Bold. We could have gas Violent Outburst actually and killed it. Maybe, 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 that's, maybe that's worth it. We, we play Violent Outburst, but they'll, 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 do it, they'll do it again next turn though. So it's kind of sweet actually. We can use the Outburst and then play Archibald. So play Blood Moon. This also turns off our fet their fetch lands too, which is pretty important. So, all right, and they milled a Cacophony and a Drown the Lock. And another Crab people. All right, yeah, this is pretty good for us. I think we're, uh, I think we're in good shape here. Playland. Mill 12. So we have 24 cards left. We're about to kill a crab and the orb, which is good. Imagine a no block here, how sick that would be. What a sick read if they, if they had no block here. I see, we, we, we could have had it last turn. They blocked last turn, so. Yep. Gotcha. Outburst, Cascade. Kill your rune grab. Plus one, plus oh. We've had these, uh, the effects of Demonic Dread and Violent Outburst like actually matter a number of times today so far. Let's kill that. Exile that. 
can start working on their rune crabs too. Next turn we're gonna we can just like reset Tybalt and do it again. Red, red, orb again. That's pretty good. 22 cards. Alright. I mean, kinda scary. Kinda scary, not gonna lie. We're down to 18 cards. That was actually a great draw. Uh, absolutely phenomenal draw step for us. Um, all right, we're gonna plus. Get a, get a fatal push off their deck. That'd be really cool. Pyromancer, Flooded Strand. I mean, Flooded Strand is a land. It does tap for mana with a Blood Moon in play. So, Pyromancer. I mean, we're just playing Demonic Dread into another table tier, exiling the orb and then killing a crab and then doing all the stuff here, I think. It's funny because Tibbles Plus actually mills us one, technically. Will they block again? 18 life? Nope. Not this time. Alright, so we're going to Black, Red, Red. Demonic Dread. We do have a, a Valky left, don't we? We don't, we don't, we don't actually. Uh, that's super awkward. I screwed up. I didn't realize we had, we had milled a Valky. Um, now I think we're going to lose, actually. That's terrible for us. I mean, we can use it again. I mean, it's not like the, we, we miss out on like one activation, but that's not good. That's not good at all. All right. Uh, I didn't take the check. That sucks. Okay. Uh, I think we might be dead. We're milling five cards on our untaps up to 11. They just need to play two lands and kill us. I'm not even sure what... Uh... Okay, 10 cards left. Going down to five cards left. Yeah, I don't know if we can win. Uh, they have to draw like an uncastable card. Blood Moon. So we just like play. We have four cards in our deck. Jeez. Cascade into Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, that's actually really good. Yes. Where is it? Play Stomp. Kill one of these. That's really good. That's like really, really good. All right, so they need to not draw a land or a castable spell next turn. And maybe we can get him. Too many crabs. Too many crabs. All right. This is it. Don't draw. Don't draw a land. Just draw like a you know a fatal push or something like that. No point in playing extra Valky. Certainly not playing an orb. Yeah, all right. Don't draw land. I mean, if we hadn't cascaded, obviously that turn we, we if I hadn't screwed up, we probably would have won this game. Um, we would have had Bloodbird off and play a turn earlier, and so on and so forth. And so we. Way through this game, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but sure, I guess. Yep. All right. If we had one more card in our deck, it's not enough. We need like two more cards in our deck, but all right. That kind of stunk. Um, we're on the play, so we're going to want our Blast Zones, Shriek Maws, and Magus the Moon. What are we cutting? I cut three cards. We want everything that can kill a crab. Well, I guess Bone Crusher doesn't do it like super reliably. We also want our moon effects, I think, too. Spirit guides. It's possible we don't want we don't we don't we don't want Pyromancer. It's just like too slow and not good enough, maybe. Alright. Yeah, it sucked. Totally, totally threw that game. 
hundred percent. Just didn't check for Valky. It's tough because like they're flipped too. So like there were only three Valkies visible, and then there was obviously a Tybalt in play also. And so you like you know recognize that there's the there's still four copies of a card, not three. <sighs> All right, on the play. All right, Luris revealed again. We're on the play. Uh, I'm all in this two-lander, which can't guess the spell yet, so. That's worse. That is worse, but I'm all in also. I'm all in again. All right, I'm mean, logging into a pretty passable hand here. Uh, we're gonna keep this. Opponent's also on five. Super awkward. It's like Dread needs a creature in play, but Moons, maybe we ship like a land. We have Valky and Treepmaw on two. We need to draw land at that point. Like land moon. I don't love it, but they only got a five too, you know, so. Gonna hold the fetch land, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. And not sure if we want to duel, play for blood moon, so on and so forth. Untapped and go. Okay. I mean Obviously, a pushier would be a little annoying. We're going to hold on to this catacomb still, I think. Play Valky. It might just die here, but... I mean, what are you going to do? We got a crab. Wow. All right. So they have... They didn't play the crab, which is interesting. They have Drown the Lock, Spell Pierce, Surgical Extraction. So like, we can't, they have Spell Pierce for Tybalt, but it's like not that bad, I guess. We can Shriek Maw their creature if they play one. Look at they were about to do that. All right, so Reach Through Mist, draw a card. Find a fetch land, or how to fetch land, sure. All right. Um, I mean, we ain't playing Dread into a, a Spell Pierce, so just going to attack for two and say, oh, yes. Spell Pierce is pretty nice. Shellback Isle. So not much going on for them. Uh, we took their one enabler, and they've got Drama Lock and Surgical Extraction. There's like no way to put cards in the graveyard. And uh, Shellback Isle, so that's cool. Also one land off just paying for Spell Pierce. Sure. Just fetch Island. Okay. Untap. Draw another Demonic Dread. Hmm. 
So now we don't want to. Uh, we could cast it and try to just like you know bait out the spell pierce, but then they would just then they could just surgical it, and that would be bad for us. We'll just wait for another mana source. Play around spell pierce. Sure. I suppose we're like giving up some value here. Like if we, by leaving this fetch land here, we're, like, we're letting them draw archive trap maybe, but we also want to make sure we can get the right land with it. We draw, if we draw blood moon, we want to get a, a swamp. And if we draw pyromancer, we want to get a, a, a dual land. Ugh, so annoying. All right. Well, there's land five, but it's a black leaf lift. So we can't uh, play on spell pierce, but that's fine. Just wait to turn. I suppose they had Snapcaster here would be pretty annoying, but they don't play that many snaps, I don't think. All right, I mean, pretty uneventful game here so far. Drama Lock, we have no cards in our graveyard. I guess also Fetching puts the card in the graveyard for Drama Lock, too, so. No cards in the mid for Drown. Just, just got just 2-1 here, just beaten down. Old Loki. Sure. Spirit Guide, sure. Uh, attack for two. They have Drown Surgical Pierce card card. Crap. So, okay. This isn't actually that bad. Um, Oh, it is bad actually, because then they're gonna have a they're not gonna have a, not gonna have a creature in play. Oh, that's pretty bad. All right, sure. Honestly, this is kind of funny. We're gonna make Valky into an O two, make their Snapcaster live, and then we can pay for the Spell Pierce with our Simian Spirit Guide, which is kind of a preposterous scenario, but. You know, when you're making a play and you're like, this play seems really cool. You're kind of hoping it actually is cool. So we're going to let them, let their Snapcaster live. Give them back their crab. Post-combat, we're going to Demonic Dread. Targeting Snapcaster Mage. Cascade. Oh, I, could, I think it was Surgical. I'm so stupid. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. It, it, it wouldn't have worked anyway, obviously. All right. Uh, I'm just so stupid. I'm sorry, folks. I have not been feeling well the last like few weeks. I feel like I've been so off. Um, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't actually matter because they would have traded regardless. So we couldn't play around Snapcaster Mage. And we couldn't actually do anything about it either. Um, so all this looks comically bad for us. Snapcaster was bad anyway. If they had traded, they still would have uh, surgical my Lokis and neutered my entire deck. So, realistically, it's not as backbreakingly stupid as it looks. Uh, although we are dead now. We are definitely dead. Now I need to, like, hard cast Street Maw and hope it's good enough. Oh, man. We can't even do that. They'll just play it. There's like counter next turn with the Drama Lock. So the crab should give should give him enough cards for Drama Lock to be on to. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's a downside to actually just playing the uh, the, the, the Valky out. Instead of it dies, they can surgical it. So Cascade to nothing, because there are no applicable cards in my deck. So just reveal all 47 cards to my opponent. Now they play grab, play a land, mill six cards, drama lock is on, and we're pretty dead. Oh, 
They're at eight. Shriek Maw does resolve, like, if their only kill spells are Fatal Push, like, it might actually kill them, but they have Lurus too, so... Yeah, so the the Catacombs puts the 8th or the 5th card in the graveyard for Drama Lock. No attack. Sure. Alright, I guess we can Spirit Guide out the... Uh, the Shriek Mod. Let me draw land, never mind. Alright, Shriek Maw. Help me, you're my only hope. The big question is, what do we kill? Do we kill the crab or we kill this the Snapcaster mage. Oh, this can just kill it too, right? This is this is, this is a non-black creature. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we're just, we're just dead. I don't think it matters. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. Seems kind of like a tough matchup, honestly. Just like, they have spell pierces and counter spells. If they ever hit my Valky and they surgical, it's pretty bad for us. They have a pretty fast clock. And realistically, like, while Valky is a super, or, uh, Loki, low key, um, Tybalt's a super powerful card to have in play. Like, it doesn't actually kill them that fast. As you saw in that game when we had Loki in play for five turns, it just didn't matter because they just you know, non-interactively killed us. What are they doing? I mean, I don't really have many options. We can use Violent Outburst for an extra point of damage, which is kind of cool, I guess. Oh, uh, would put the fifth card in the graveyard and they would just kill it with Drama Lock, so. They're going to drown the lock, my monkey. Okay, shock the monkey, shock the monkey. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably all she wrote. Okay. Um So you're telling me there's a chance, I guess, right? I will stomp you. Because Mama said stomp you out. It's a heads up play, honestly. It's all piercing it. For, stop, me, stop, me, stop me from casting a Bone Crusher this turn. Alright. I mean, you're up. Just gotta pull these last three points out somewhere. They have Lurus too, so I guess they can't cast it yet. They could have, like, instead field of run for a swamp. Another crab. Sure. No second black yet. Not sure why they didn't get that last turn. Witch member? Alright. Uh that's a pretty pretty good draw actually. Boon Crusher Giant, please. 
So we can dismember their Lurus. No, nope, there's your black source. They have their hideaway land too now. Yeah, we're pretty dead. Oh boy. Even kind enough is to go for the untapped land. And not cracking the fetch first. Wow. They're just gonna give us the Lurus too. Uh okay. Not even gonna attempt to play a crab out of the graveyard. So they have one mana they want to keep up. Might be a spell pierce, something like that. Sweet. A no value Lurus, sure. Oh, it's so awkward. Alright, uh an uncastable season biomass. Crap. So can this bone crusher giant kill them before they're able to deck us? They have Shellbock Isle, Rip Roar, and are ready to go next turn. Man, Pyromancer would have been so good. All right, you are up, my friend. One black in the pool. Cast Surgical on Bone Crusher Giant. I don't think we have any. We have one more, I think. Sure. I suppose. Certainly best case scenario, honestly. This doesn't really do anything. So, because most lands are good and most spells are good for them right now. So, okay. They have Shelldock Isle whenever they want it, which is kind of terrifying. And if we win this game, it's pretty embarrassing for our opponent. Uh, they surgical. We like blindly walk into their surgical. Don't have a combo anymore. Our deck's like barely functional. And then my timeout for game three. <laughs> this right. All right. I mean, any red source. I'm like pretty happy. That plays too, actually. That also plays. Okay, now this forces their hand on Shellbock Isle. So, uh, you're telling me there's a chance? They had a crack this fetch too. We got 19 cards. They can mill, t mill, uh, Six cards, and then whatever the Sherlock Isle card is. Magus being relevant now mostly just as a, a beater. It actually manifixes us so we can cast our Pyromancer too. So we do have the Monic Dread. We do have a something camp block. All right, mill some cards. Sherlock Isle. That's really unfortunate. We have exactly 13 cards. <laughs> oh my, my, my. God, if we had one more card, we win the game. That's so sick. These, these ones have to block. 
Oh my, that's ridiculous. If I had not cast Magus to the Moon, we would have actually maybe won this game. <laughs> oh man, you know, it just feels like it's not your, uh, not, not your day or even your week. Oh my god. It's okay. We're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. Um, some run bads, some play bads. Okay, shake it all off. Shake it off. I like that song by that lady. Oh, man. The thing is, not casting, I guess not casting Magus plays around exactly Archive Traps. So if I was like super in tune with like the exact count of my deck. But the thing is, we actually like want to force their fetch land and force their soul lock isle i think so we can like get more information but i don't know maybe maybe like an absolute 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 master counts their cards doesn't play the magus and wins with one card in their deck there but unfortunately i'm not an absolute 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 master i'm just me you're stuck with me I guess you're not stuck with me, but if you're still here, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. I really like that. Raise your hand in, chat in, in, uh, in the, the comments if you're still here, because I really appreciate it. Y'all are great. Hope you all are enjoying the intros and stuff and enjoying the content. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to mulligan this end. Uh, yeah, this is good. I mean, we get to keep this. We'll ship one of our Magus. She got turned to, turn to Magus or Demonic Dreads. That's pretty cool. We'll play the stats. We draw exactly a fetch land. Could be a little different because we would want to get both colors before playing Blood Moon, but that makes our mana much worse for later if they're playing an aggressive deck. And we can just get black anyway, so. Opponents on seven cards. Ooh, okay. A little turn to Magus the Moon. Magus actually better against Tron than. Uh... Oh wait, nope. They're they're. I guess we're in the one three bracket, so so blue Tron makes sense. All right, that's pretty annoying. Uh, all right, sure. I guess you can play around Condescend. That's kind of cool. Spirit good. All right. Give me that Condescend. I seem to have F6'd. All right. Uh, plus this. Revealing Bloodbraid Elf and Emrakul, the promised end. Alrighty then. Uh, no green for Bloodbraid, unfortunately. Because we had to play our Magus early. But... This seems like a spot where Tybalt is pretty good, so I want to assemble, assemble my own Tron, and then we'll kill our Magus somehow, and then have Tron and cast Amber Cool. That'd be pretty cool. Snow Dive's card's super, super fun. Obviously, it's like pretty silly on turn three, but there's a certain joy in stealing your opponent's stuff. All right, so unzap, Bloodbird Elf again, plus, uh, plus this again. Expedition Map. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Okay, so we're going to exhibition map for a forest, which is just, just absolutely hilarious. Uh, okay. How to get out from under your own blood moon? Very simple. You just steal their expedition maps, and say go. Emrakul currently costs. 11. End step. Thirst for knowledge. Oh boy. I like it. Mono Blue Tron players are a special breed, you know? They do their thing. They like their thing. They know that they're like, you know, mathematically their deck is worse than regular Tron, but it's much more fun, much more interactive, much more interesting, much more of a puzzle. And uh, they, tend to, they, they tend to know their decks really, really, really well, like archetype specialist level. Um, 
It's pretty cool. Tapping four on the main phase. What is this? Ballista, maybe? Sure. So this can kill our Magus the Moon. We just have Blood Moon in our hand, which is fine. So. Yeah, we're just going to like cast Blood Moon. Uh, yeah, let's plus Tipski again. Yeah. Calaria West, Bone Crusher Giant. Um, I mean, I don't hate stopping the Ballista. They'll, they'll fizzle the Giant. We don't really care, honestly. I guess we'll just attack first. Sure. So we're going to stomp the Ballista. They're going to fizzle it by sacking it. Whatever. They'll kill Magus the Moon and we just get to play uh... to play in the Blood Moon effect here, which is fine. Oops. So Flutter Red, so we have, enough, we have a way to cast Blood Moon. Can fetch a basic here, which is pretty cool. Get a forest. Stomp fizzles. Play Blood Moon. And so you got. Now we have Creature Sorcery Land in the graveyard. So Amber Cool still costs a pretty hefty 10. But maybe we can um use Tybalt, the ritual on Tybalt. I should know that Tybalt exiles all the cards in the graveyard, so it doesn't actually do anything. Thirst for knowledge, sure. They have Tron, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Don't know how many Oblivion Stones they have in their deck. Probably prefer to just kill them if possible. Um, discarding an Expedition Map, sure. Relic Representative, sure. It's, I guess, like, makes the Tybalt ability a little worse, but sure. Um... Untap. Valky, God of Lies. I doubt they have many creatures even in their deck. Let's plus Tybalt again. Trying to land so you can go Bloodbury Elf and Valky. Oh, we had a Condescend. That actually plays. And a Pyromancer. Well, they have Condescend. is kind of nice, actually. Um, but I do want to play... I want to play a land this turn. We can draw a land. It kind of sucks. Um, that's actually really annoying. We didn't draw a land. We got a spirit guide. What are we like? Is leading, up, leading up condescend is like pretty pretty big game. I guess they have like worm coil. Or I guess this thing exiles everything anyway, right? They need some way to like remove Tybalt somehow. All right, let's play, let's play, let's play out Bloodberry Elf. Cascade. Uh, yeah, let's play Valky. Take a little look at the hand, see what's going on. We still have Condescent for one, because we have the Spirit Guide. A sneaky Condescent for one, which is kind of cool. There's no scoop. Sure. Okay, so they're going to have some interaction for us, for sure. We're going to be uh, on the draw still, it's fine. Mindbreak Trap, Leyline. We're going to Magus to the Moon, and cut a Bone Grocer Giant. Seems pretty bad. And call it a day, I guess. I mean, nothing else here is particularly great. I mean, Mind Break Trap, like, doesn't really do a good job winning a counter war. Because they obviously just cast one thing. So, this is fine. Um, you know, we are an eight Blood Moon deck, so that certainly helps. And once we actually put a, uh, a Tybalt in play, then it seems kind of hard for them to remove it. I guess I might have Aethergust post-board. It'd be pretty good. Either has to seem pretty good against us. I think Ricochet Trap is a card you could play. I guess like the Ricochet Trap, though, unlike other counter spells, you can't make Aether Gust target itself, which is kind of annoying. So I guess it could target the trap. That's how that works, I think. All right, so that's pretty weird. All right, so we have Gemstone Caverns. That's a plus. We have a Cascade card. That's a plus. There's no targets for the, uh, the Dread right now, but I think we still keep them. We just have like 
two good basics, gemstone cavern. I'm gonna keep. It's a little loose, but Pond of Mulligan also. All right, so we're gonna put a caverns in play. We're only, only putting one in play, actually. Then we're gonna exile the other caverns because that's just uh, our smart thing to do. And we're gonna try and draw any Cascade card, any Blood Moon, any creature. That's a creature. All right, so let's play the old uh, Catacombs as they go. Let's get Swamp, play Forest, play Magus the Moon, and go from there. If they counter it, so be it. Cliffs. That's fine. Play Cliffs instead. Obviously, the Forest is still in our hands, so... Magus the Moon? It's gotta be Condescend. Yeah, it is. Okay. No spirit guide, unfortunately. Would have been super nice. So now we're not in a great spot because we have seen a target for these demonic dreads, but hey. fellow chucker, eh? Ugh, gross. All right, let's just play Lance. I go. All right, so good news is only one Tron land, which is fine. Starting a Chalice of the Void? <laughs> okay. Five cards in end. If we're looking for Blood Braid Elf, that would be the ideal, uh, ideal scenario here. Or Dismember, sure. Less than ideal, less than ideal. Pretty, pretty bad draws. Uh, the third caverns, dismember. Thirst again. When your opponent ain't doing nothing, thirst is pretty good. Oblivion stone, sure. That's a pretty confident discard. Stone is one of their good answers to, uh, to blood moon effects. And they have Tron too. Yeah, we're probably dead this game. Uh, our, our key was a little loose, obviously. They've drawn out of it pretty well. We've, we've drawn terribly out of ours. They, they, they might get a six, too, but hey, there you go. All right, so uh, let's go, buddy. What do you got for me? Something good, I hope. Sure. Cash in this gemstone caverns and probably a demonic dread? Dismember's pretty bad. Got a map for an island. Okay. I'll ship Dismember. Get a token, get a Blood Moon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They have many, many, many cards in their hand and many, many mana. Repeal the token. Okay. You gonna mind slaver me or something? No? Just gonna keep playing? All right. Sure. Um, I guess I'm like another black. You can double demonic dread through. Blood Moon, I guess. All right, so I got a hard cast Shark Typhoon. This is where we're going to be right now. All right, sure. Sure. Guess we'll attack first. Let's see if they want to cast a spell. All right, so demonic dread. I don't think blood moon's like that important. Imposter. Remand the Tibskis. Sure. 
Maybe wait for Zob Blood Moon now. Yeah, I'll just resolve Blood Moon. So, kills about four lands worth of mana. Hardcast Shark Typhoon is pretty good against us, honestly. Again, Volky doesn't, or uh, Tibski doesn't, like, really kill super fast. I think an attack here would be pretty bad for us. An attack here would be a pretty big, big, big show of strength, and they don't have it, which is good. So, they still have five cards, though. That's not a bad draw either, Pyromancer. Let's just move to combat immediately. Attack and see what they do. I don't want them to uh, you know, cast a big condescend. We can't attack anymore, so play this. Attack. Block Blood Burial, sure. They're 10, all right. Strive a dread again. And then we're going to Pyromancer if they counter it. Cascade. I guess I kind of dreaded the uh the shark. They, they would probably made, made a bigger shark, so cast the cosmic imposter. Thirst for knowledge response? Okay, that's a start. Um if Tibski resolves here, I'm feeling pretty good. Discarding a map, okay. Oh, nice. All right, let me just uh, should I kill that shark? Right? Yeah, I think so. Suppose they have another shark type in their hand. They can kill the Tipski now. That would be a little gross, but we're also going wide. I haven't drawn a violent outburst yet. Pump these uh these uh, stupid tokens up, you know. Blood Moon Spirit Guide, sure. Yeah. I've already cast two. They've already cast three thirsts, so I doubt they have a fourth thirst. Oh god. Four red. Huh. Ah, Blood Moon, eh? Ah, that's right. I, even I forgot that they have a only one blue. So, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon. Who's the fairest Blood Moon of them all? Tapping four. Please cast Factory Fiction. Please cast Factory Fiction. Repeal, targeting Blood Moon. Okay, sure. I mean, they've got eight mana. Okay. Repeal would be a nice hit off of our Tibble next turn. Nine mana. Or ten. All right. I mean, sure. Untap. Plus Tibski. A repeal here would be super nice. Remand. Remand. Wrong one. Not bad though. Um. Okay. So we're just going to cast a. Oh, like Magus of the Moon. Okay, now let's play a Valky, and then we're going to have the secret surprise remand queued up with our spirit guide. Even a remand's not, not, not that good against Shark Typhoon, obviously, but you can see what's in their hands here, here and figure out our attacks. Sure, look at their hand. Emmercool, and they have literally five lands in their hand. How? They cast three thirsts this game. Um, and five. Something here is not actually there. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. What are they have five cards in their hand. Five lands. Um, okay. So now we get to attack them with everything. We'll lose a creature, obviously, which is fine. They kind of like have to attack Tibble. And they're already just lose their shark anyway. So we're just in great shape here. I mean, if they had played the... It wouldn't have mattered. If they had played the... Uh, Academy runs for Oblivion Stone because they don't have enough uh, mana to do it. So we also, have, we also have Remand. So we're going to beat them with their own Remand. Okay. Shark attack. Shark attack it is. 
I can pay uh I can pay 13 mana next to an Emmer Ghoul. That's pretty cool. Alright. Uh I mean they're at six. We have lethal. Obviously, if they cast a spell, it still makes a shark, which is pretty bad for us, but I think we're just kind of going in here. We can play the Blood Moon first. I guess that plays into a counter spell kind of bad, but it means they can't uh kill my Magus and have all their mana. They have all lands in their hand. Alright, here it comes. What is it? Oh my god. Seven mana in the pool. Cyclonic Rift. Uh, this is going to be a 7-7 seven, seven or a 2-2? Two, two? It's 2-2. Two, two. Okay. And then we're going to reman the Cyclonic Rift back to their hand. They can cast it for for um, for um 2 and bounce something and make another 2-2, two, two, which is actually like pretty real. But seems better than losing everything. Pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. Blood Crypt. Okay. So now... We've got to attack with everything. They they bounce some. They bounce something, block two things. We could definitely lose this game, honestly. That was a pretty good draw. All right, it's untap, draw. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I think they're dead. Yeah, that's that's got to do it, right? So play. Outburst. This pumps the team as well as cascading into a Valky. They could actually bounce the Valky before we get to use it, but it doesn't matter because we uh just one less tacker. Everything's getting pumped one power. I love how how relevant these cascade spells have been this entire uh entire league. Alright, so we'll take it. We'll take it. So two and three. Um the deck does feel a little, it feels a little bit to me like the the As For Told decks that are playing like As For Told and uh, Crash the Rhinos or whatever it is, like the, the suspend card that makes two four fours, where you kind of like get your combo off and like it's good, but it's not like super game ending. Um, I do wish we had the ability to play a little bit more of a fair game. The Blood Moons are cool and all, but if we could just like kill more things or interact a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure how you would do that though. I mean... Love Struck Beast, uh, Bone Crusher Giant, Dead Gun, like split cards are a possibility for things you can cast. Could play like the ah, that card's terrible. It's like the land that's a three minute three thought sees. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's definitely a very, very powerful effect. I mean, being able to just like have a three mana card, you're like having a three mana Valky is really, really good. As we saw. Um but we also we also saw that like some games we had Tibble to play for three or four turns and it just didn't matter because the things that our opponents were doing didn't care about it like the mill game granted we punted with a mill games probably should have won and we maybe could have played better against the uh the euro deck and maybe should have won that one too so like we definitely didn't play up to our you know our potential in this league um but the next seems super sweet i mean december is pretty cool definitely would like a little more interaction if possible um i'm not sure it's definitely a very real interaction um you could also play like a more standard looking Jun deck and just play Valky and try and get lucky and hit into it with Bloodbraid Elf, but that feels a little less exciting. Um, I'm not sure. Definitely wanted to watch that. I wanted to watch. A lot of things happen to Modern with this uh, with this set, obviously, with um, both Trickery and Valky being uh, being major, major deals. So we'll see. Definitely an interesting deck, though, for sure. One to one to keep an eye on and keep working on and try and try and figure out all the little little machinations and stuff like that. So. Uh, I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Again, there's a companion article to this video on CoolStuffInc.com. Check that out. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my other videos. I do a video every week with tons of fun intros every every week. And um, check it out. All right. I love you all. Thanks for watching. appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.